Hi guys, it is a gorgeous night in the end times now that I have actually figured out how to open a can of beans in the end times and had a nice meal of beanie weenies and two stiff drinks to recover from my can opening episode. I can uh, sit here and relax. Uh, this is Tuesday night, October 20th. 2015. I think I forgot to mention that on my can opener rant number two. So anyway, speaking of how to in the end times, uh, I'm going to title this rant, what am I going to title this? A, a Luddite's message to computer geeks. And maybe my geek Mr. One Meatball, who I, I, I know, I know One Meatball was was trying to help here, but apparently uh, he missed my my little rant last week about it taking me 20 minutes to figure out how to turn on a light, and I just sent him my my video about spending eight or ten minutes trying to open a can of Beanie Weenies. And I understand, and, and this, this is a message to, from all of us Luddites to all of our lovable geeks, high-tech computer geeks, whatever you call them, on the, uh, on the other side of this unbridgeable chasm that separates you from us. Just, just never the twain shall meet. You just don't get it. You don't get it that we don't get it. Okay? We appreciate you trying to look out for our best interest. And this was probably one meatball doing a little bit of defensive strategy so I won't call him up and wake him up on um, bed late on a Sunday night again when I'm having some computer problem. And th this, this is, I'm sure one meatball would uh, agree with me on this one, uh, a, a wise word to computer geeks, never hand out your home telephone, your private phone number to a Luddite. It's just not it's just not a good thing for you. Uh, so anyway, I'm sure that one meatball was just being a friend and trying to uh, see me through the end times because he knows how I'm always doing these how to survive the end times. So he sent this message to me from this is from the Electronic Frontier Foundation defending your rights in the digital world. And the name of their article coming out just a couple of days ago, How to Protect Yourself from NSA Attacks on 1024-Bit DH. I have zero clue what a 1024-bit DH is. What is this knocking around here? Anyway, okay. In a post on Wednesday, researchers Alex Halderman and Nada Henninger presented compelling research suggesting that the NSA, I do know that, the National Security Administration, has developed the capability to decrypt a large number of HTTPS, SSH, and VPN connections using an attack on common impl implementations of the Diffie-Hellman key exchange algorithm with 1024-bit primes. Earlier in the year, they were part of a research group that published a study of the logjam attack, 
which leveraged overlooked and outdated code to enforce export grade read downgraded 512 bit parameters for Diffie Hellman. By performing a cost analysis of the algorithm with stronger 1024 bit parameters and comparing that with what we know of the NSA black budget, they concluded that it is likely NSA has been breaking 1024 bit Diffie Hellman for some time now. Uh, I have no, no clue what any of this means, but I agree 100% with that last sentence. I, I, I have just enough knowledge, this Luddite has just enough brains in his head to understand that the NSA has likely been breaking 1024 bit Diffie Hellman for some time now. But there is some good news, guys. The good news is, in the time since this research was originally published, the major browser vendors, Internet Explorer, Chrome, and Firefox, have removed support for 512-bit Diffie Hellman. However, 1024-bit Diffie Hellman remains supported for the foreseeable future despite its vulnerability to NSA surveillance. Okay, so in this post, in this article right here, we present some practical tips to protect yourself from the surveillance machine. Okay, this is a Luddite getting ready to share with you some practical tips to protect yourself from the surveillance machine. Don't say I never give you any news you can use. I already showed you how to open a can of Beanie Weenies in the end times if you forgot to pack a can opener in your bug out bag. Okay? And, and, and here we are, two hours later, and I am giving you some practical tips to protect yourself from the surveillance machine. And this is whether you're using a web browser, an SSH client, or VPN software. Disclaimer, this is not a complete guide and not all software is covered. So I'm going to talk about how to protect your web browser in Firefox. And then I'm going to put the link on to this. And you can take it from there if you want to find out about Chrome and Internet Explorer. This will just give you some idea. Okay, on your web browser, to make sure you are using the strongest crypto, you have to look at the encryption algorithms or cipher suites that your browser supports. There is an excellent tool called How's My SSL that will test your browser's cipher suite support. The relevant area of the page is the bottom of the page. Labeled, I guess, Given Cipher Suites, S-U-I-T-E-S, -E by the way. You want to make sure that you do not see the text <coughs> underscore D-H-E underscore in the list of cipher suites. Although, the elliptic curve variant of Diffie-Hellman represented by suites <coughs> with underscore ECDHE is okay. I'm getting, <coughs> I'm getting choked up here, guys. It is important to note that there is a trade-off here Removing your client's support <coughs> for DHE ciphers will eliminate the risk of attack, but it may also remove forward secrecy support altogether for some sites. So with that disclaimer in mind, here is how to remove 
those underscore DHE underscore cipher suites if you still have them. Okay, this is how to do this on Firefox and this was tested with 40.0.3. Okay, go on to Firefox and you want to open a new tab, enter about colon config into the location bar and hit the enter key. If you get a, I, I can't make this shit up guys, if you get a warning page, click, quote, I'll be careful, I promise, exclamation point. This, clicking, I'll be careful, I promise, will bring you to the Firefox configuration settings in the search bar, up type, type, point DHE underscore and hit the enter key, this should result in two settings being displayed. Okay, the first setting will be security.ssl3.dhe underscore rsa underscore aes underscore 128 underscore sha and security.ssi3.dhe underscore rsa underscore aes underscore 256 underscore sha and you want to double click both of them to change the value from true to false there you go now if you refresh the How's My SSL page, the underscore DHE underscore Cypher Suites should be gone! Exclamation point. And then they go through and tell you how to do this for Chrome and Internet Explorer, which is a little more complicated than the Firefox was the easy one. So now you know, at least on, with your web browser and Firefox, you have learned right here on Humpty Dumpty Tribe, you have learned some practical tips to protect yourself from the surveillance machine. And uh, I, I want to thank one meatball for sending that along because I know it sure as hell helped me to protect myself from the surveillance machine. Now, guys, I, I, I okay, geeks, read my Luddite lips. I do not know what the fuck one word of that gobbledygook was supposed to mean. It might as well have been written in Martian. I appreciate you looking out for my best interest. However, it is pointless to try to talk to Luddites like this. We do not know what the fuck you are talking about. We do not know what planet you are from. We don't know, we don't care what planet you're from, but you're welcome here on Earth anytime as long as we can call you at midnight on a Sunday night when we get a computer virus and are freaking out. Okay? You know, we are not going to learn how to talk like this. There, you know, and, and, I, and I know I look like the dumb, hippie, clueless moron that I am, but you know, you know, I am 56 years old. 
I understand I have a 148 IQ, I have five years of college, I graduated magna cum laude, uh, I have real estate licenses in three states, I have owned a computer, various computers now, for 20 years, and I don't have one clue what any of that Martian gobbledygook means. Okay? I did not come out of the womb speaking Martian. I did not arrive here on a spaceship. Okay? I am an earthling. I am a primate. I have a monkey brain. Okay? With or without a 148 IQ, I am a monkey. I am not a Martian. And I, I, I think other Luddites will agree with me. But I do appreciate the, this other noting before I wrap up uh, the, the, this rant is you know, if, if, you, if, if, if you've been reading Yahoo News, they've been running this ad real heavy. Uh, and, it's, and it's put in the middle of the 100 top news stories. And they make it sound like a news story, but what it is is a goddamn ad trying to sell you some computer shit. And it's the number one reason not to buy a new computer tech news. Do you have a slow computer? Do not buy a new PC or call a PC repair company. One simple tip is saving people across the globe thousands. Blah, blah, blah. So uh, I sent this, uh, this to one meatball to my computer geek in Austin and uh, asked him to review this and give me his ideas and advice. And this is uh, One Meatball's uh, review of this ad. This, this whatever this shit they're trying to sell us Luddites. It is BS. Attention-grabbing headlines are always, are almost always an indication of BS. There are things you can do to optimize and speed up your computer, and there are some free tools for doing it. It still requires some level of expertise to do the right thing with them. However, the great majority of offers for this are worse than bullshit. They are actively pushing malware and spyware. Civilians, meaning non-geeks, we are we are called uh, the, the 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 geeks call the rest of us civilians. Civilians should never attempt this stuff. Tech news, tech news, does not have a sterling reputation, and the likelihood that they don't even really know what ads they are getting from the ad syndicates. It was very wise of you to inquire about this. There you go. So at least my, uh, my geek thinks this old Luddite civilian is wise to inquire about this. And anyway, guys, I am absolutely ragged, and I got to get back on it tomorrow. So I'm going to wrap up this rant and hopefully figure out a way, this Luddite with no internet will figure out a way to come at you tomorrow morning with my climate change meltdown roundup rant. For this one, this is me and Minnie Mouse.